You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a returning player, John Nesty from Mass Hire. Good to see you, John. Welcome. Good to be here. Thanks for having me. Um, you got something interesting to talk to us about. It's something called Move. Okay, you're going to have to explain what that means. Sure. Okay. Tell sure, me. yeah. So, um, uh, Brockton Area Transit, or BAT, they're continually um, updating and upgrading their fleet of vehicles. So often they have to decommission some vehicles that still have some usable life. So we were fortunate enough uh, as their uh, partners with Mass Hire you know, Workforce Board that um, they generously donated an old dial a -bat bus, it's a 25 mm. footer. Yeah. And we are in the process of converting this vehicle into a mobile computer lab to be used for training. Wow. Um, so it's, um, the official name will be Mass Hire Move Maker. Move okay, maker. so okay. the MOVE stands for Mobile, Occupational, and Vocational Education. Ah, uh, one so, of my favorite things. Absolutely. Being on the Southeastern School Committee. Yeah, and I'm glad you mentioned Southeastern. Uh, so not only is BAT a tremendous partner on this project, but the vehicle, as we speak today, is sitting in the maker space over at Southeastern, and the students are working to refurbish and uh, convert this vehicle. And I was there last week. The floor is in, they're putting in the counters, and it looks uh, absolutely phenomenal. They're very excited about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, once completed, this vehicle, uh, this move maker will be used in the community as an extension of the career center. So we'll be able to deliver uh, the career center services to job seekers in parts of Brockton that perhaps some people can't make it to downtown or mm -hmm. they're just simply not aware. So we'll be able to get into those nooks and crannies. And additionally, the move maker, the, uh, the mobile classroom, will be made available to area employers to utilize to help train and retrain their existing employees. Mm. In some cases, there are uh, some companies, uh, manufacturing companies, for an example, that have large square footage in their facility, but they might not have a computer lab right. um, for 10 individuals. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to support our employer partners uh, as well with this vehicle. So it's, it's really just a, a very unique um, uh, vehicle and opportunity, and there's really nothing like it in the area. Mm. And so it's going to be noticeable when uh, the move maker finally hits, hits the road. So what's the like ETA for when it might be out ballpark? I sure. won't quote you 100%, but what, what's the goal? When are you right. trying to unveil it? Well, if you think about how close we're getting to the school vacation for mm -hmm. summer, uh, so again, being at Southeastern just last week, they had mentioned that there's 33 days left. Right. So they've got it on the ropes as far as uh, refurbishing and making it the workstations on board. Um, the tech, the onboard tech is the next component. So again, we have some great partners that are assisting us with, uh, with the Wi-Fi and with the smart board. Mm. Um, so we would anticipate that uh, sometime this summer, there'll be some sort of grand unveiling. Okay. And of course, um, we'll use the exterior of the vehicle to highlight our partnerships yeah. and to really deliver you know, our message from Mass Hire uh, that we are here in the community, we're here uh, to help people better their life mm -hmm. uh, by giving them more skills, updated skills, so that they can continue to uh, pursue their career paths and, uh, and have a good life and provide for their family, so it's all good. Well, we'll certainly help you promote it, and then we're going to obviously get on the bus sure. and take a ride, and we'll be there for the unveiling. I think that's very exciting. You said, it, is, it, is it the only one of its kind with all the mass hires that you know of? As far as we know, it's the only vehicle of its kind in this area for this purpose. Okay. Um, in several, uh, in doing some research, there's uh, several schools, colleges, um, particularly in the Midwest, mm -hmm. where... Uh, these types of vehicles are used to deliver distance learning and distance like learning yeah. because you know in some parts of rural Arkansas it might right. be four hours right. to the nearest you know higher ed institution mm -hmm. so um, again our our goal with this vehicle is to capitalize on again um, the opportunity that was presented to us with the help of bat 
and, um, and certainly with Southeastern, who are great partners, uh, and to really have that buy-in from the students, from the community, and from the workforce uh, system as well to um, really, you know, put rubber to the road, so to speak, yeah. and get this vehicle out and uh, continuing to help, you know, help the community. That is great. I can't wait to see it. I'll, maybe I'll get a sneak preview. We have a school committee meeting coming up, and we get to go. The superintendent likes to take us into the maker space anytime he gets. Sure. We built two tiny houses over there. That's right. Um, uh, I don't know what we're doing again this year because we have the open house always in November, okay. and usually we have something we like to showcase. Maybe it will be that vehicle. There's, there'd be certainly a lot of buzz around, uh, around the vehicle, and I would imagine a great source of pride as well for the students and the faculty and the superintendent and everybody involved over at Southeastern because, again, it's sort of a one-of-one, -one, very unique, and um, really just a cool project, uh, and we're really fortunate, again, to have great partners, and you know, what's better than having the students um, help Absolutely. And and you know lend their their skills and their insights and um, tremendously talented students um, over there and you know in Brockton and surrounding areas we're we're in a good place. Well, thanks for coming on and thanks for uh, sharing some uh, new news, good some news, good news, and some good news. Uh, we will bring you back on again when you have something else to promote. Thanks, John. Can't wait. Looking okay. forward to it. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.